Hello, my friends, how are you? I hope you are well. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to design a 3D logo, starting from drawing it on paper. Follow us until the end. Please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and liking the video so that I can encourage more. Let's get started. We open the program interface, then we enter the background that we want to work on directly like this. Click on this option, and then we create an orthogonal landmark from here to help us design. We create a new layer for the design on it. Then choose the circle option. And do not forget to adjust these settings. We draw a circle of any size we want and work on coloring it with black. Knowing that we can choose any color we want. We choose the shape of the square from here. The shape of the square has been chosen so that we can cut the triangle shape inside this circle. And its shape is consistent, knowing that there are many ways to do this. We choose this tool to draw any geometric shape or cut. We choose the snipping tool from here. We choose this tool to write text, a sentence, or anything we want, with the ability to change the text style, color it, or change its size as we like. We can also introduce other types of fonts, which we will discuss in other lessons. From here we choose the font style and type. From here we choose the appropriate font size. We merge the two layers together into one layer to make it easy to control them. We select the rotate option from here, and then we rotate the shape. We are reducing the size of the layer that contains the shape to make it easier to control it when rotating it in 3D.
Choose a 3D animation tool. We insert a background from the desktop of the program directly. We make the choice to enlarge any shape and background. We make this choice to determine the shape of any drawing or layer, as in the corresponding figure. We make this choice to reverse any process we want, and in this example we want to cut the side that we do not need in this background. This process will enable us to make a shadow of this shape so that it appears three-dimensional, and this trick is one of the most important tricks that you will learn in this tutorial, where you can try it later. We repeat the same process on this layer that contains the black shape, but we change the shadow pattern so that it is less sharp. We create a new layer where we make some improvements to this shape. We choose this tool as it enables us to draw in a smooth and streamlined manner, whether geometric or curved lines. My advice to you is at the end of the video, open the GIMP program on your computer, you can download it for free for life, then imitate this design time after time, 
And every time you repeat this work, you will notice that you are improving again and again in using the tools that we have used so far, and this improves your ability to design very well. And in the end, do not forget to support us by subscribing and liking the video so that we can continue to provide more thanks.